So I had this thought that came into my head today. Um, actually, I had the title of this video in mind. I'm calling it Passive Aggressive Punctuation. Um, and this came to me after kind of a, a weird, annoying little email exchange I had. Um, now obviously, in this day and age with email and text and people writing more, there's like a certain set of standards or like, you know, beliefs about the right way to talk to people and like, you know, what's okay, what's not okay, what might, what might be taken the wrong way. Um, like a great example is using all exclamation marks, I mean uppercase um, letters when you write, like that's considered shouting. Um, but that I would just say is just outright aggressive. It sounds like you're shouting at someone. But <laughs> um, I was sort of on a group email with a group of people who I'm friendly with. Uh, it was definitely informal and casual. And um, yeah, this is like uh, people on my USTA team. And yeah, it was just like the usual BS, just like, hey guys, we're meeting next week on this day. Okay, great, I'll be there, uh, I'll bring the balls. And you know, these guys all know me, they know I'm a jokester, and I just wrote, um, I think everyone should wear a tennis skirt, period. <laughs> and a few minutes later, one of these guys writes back, question mark, question mark, question mark? And I gotta say, it really, really annoyed me. Because, you know what, there are a million responses you can give, and they don't have to be polite. Like, you could say, Max, that's really in bad taste, or Max, what the hell do you mean? Or, Max, is this a joke? Or, um, you know, I really don't understand if you're joking or you're being serious. Or, could you please clarify? Or, you know, I am trans and that's not funny to make jokes about cross-dressing. Say anything, but when you just do question mark, question mark, question mark, there's something to me that it's just, it's so kind of passive aggressive. It's sort of like, oh, hey, Charlie. Sorry for that little cut. Um, my cat just knocked over the camera. Thanks, Charlie. Anyway, so I think it's like really, um, there's something about three question marks and no words that to me, it's like, it's very emphatic. It's almost showing that a person is annoyed. They're kind of vexed. It's like they're confused, but they're annoyed with you. But it's so, it's so passive at the same time because they're not, they're not giving you their state of mind. They're not saying, I want more information. They're not saying, like, I'm offended. They're not saying that's funny. It's just throwing it out to you. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, and I just think it's like a really lazy way to communicate. So um, yeah, that's my thought. Uh, and one other example of this is I remember um, I was in a group text and somebody sent um, they included basically someone's old number, like someone had changed their number and this person just didn't update it. So the number went, the message wound up going to whoever had the new number. Clearly wasn't intended for them. So if you get a number, if you get a message that's not intended for you, what do you do? You either ignore it or you say, um, sorry, wrong number, please take me off this text. And this person responded, WTF? question mark, question mark. Like, dude, don't take it personally. Like, we didn't, we didn't know it was going to you. Like, no need to be outraged. Just say, you got the wrong guy. Just people today, I just, it, it's so, it's annoying. And it's what I would call passive aggressive. It's like, if you wanna take a stand and say you're bothered, say you're bothered. But don't just like, lob a little, little slew of question marks my way and, and expect me to dig my way out or explain what's going on. So that's just my two cents. What do you think about passive-aggressive punctuation?